Gotta get more sparkly Cause we're testing out something by Nikki Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel So for today's video, we're gonna be testing out the Ofra X Nikki Tutorials If you guys didn't know, Nikki Tutorials had a collaboration with Ofra And she made a highlighter called Everglow With three beautiful shades that I saw online And three liquid lipsticks And I can't wait to test them out before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. Hit the like button after the video is done, of course. And, oh, also don't forget to hit the little bell button down below so you can get a notification every time I post. Alright, let's get on to the video. Okay, so I was able to open up the box. And to be honest, the highlighter is even bigger than I thought it would be. I'm not going to lie, I thought it was going to be a little small, but this is a really nice size. So let me just open this up. Oh, by the way, here's Nikki in the back. This whole design is really, really pretty. Okay, so actually, I'm gonna do my foundation, bronze up a bit, and then we can use the highlighters and the good looks. So this is what Everglow looks like. All right, so today, we're gonna use all of these colors, of course, and I'm gonna take my fan brush, and I'm going to be dipping into this silver one right here to put on this side of my cheek, and then I'll put this one on the other side of my cheek, and then I can put this one on high points of my forehead. And I just noticed my heater was on, so I'm really sorry if you were hearing, like, noise in the background. It was my heater, because... It's cold where I live. So taking this color on the top and applying that to the high points of my cheekbones. Okay, the fact that you can see this and I have really bad lighting, like there are no ring lights in here at all. It's very, oh my god, impressive. Oh my god. Okay, so now flipping the fan brush, we're going to go into this copper color over here and... I look like I have a brand new penny on my cheek. I really want to put like a flash here, but I dropped my phone in. My flash doesn't work anymore, so... Ouchies. Alright, next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to be taking the Morphe M510 for this beautiful color over here. I mean, they're all beautiful, but this one over here. And I'm just going to put it in. And let me just go on the top of my brows. I think I want this color over here for my Cupid's bow. The glazed one here. The glazed one, the copper one. And put the white one on my shoulders. I really wish I had ring lights. I would look blinding right now. Okay, so I just got up for a little bit to prime my eyes and oh my gosh, I wish you can see me right now. Like this copper over here really looks like I have a brand new penny laying on my cheek. And this just looks like the sunbeam. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Nikki did such an awesome job with this. Okay, so something else that Nikki also said you could do with Everglow is that you can use these on the eyelids which is what I'm going to do right now just using these three colors I already primed my eyes oh and by the way for a list of everything that I've been using today on my face I will leave it in the description box down below so you can check it out okay so I zoomed you guys in a little bit so you can see what I'm going to do Ooh, this nose highlight is beautiful <laughs> okay so I'm going to be taking the copper shade and applying that to the outside of my corners I mean yeah the outside corner of my eye And I think this is going to be a really nice three-step um, eyeshadow look. So we're just going to take that on the outer corner, go a little bit high, and buff it out. Okay, and I'll be taking this flat brush that's kind of angled for the inner parts of my eye. I'm going to be using the um, lightest color for this, so I'm just going to take some and 
put it on the inside. Inside of my, ooh. Mind you, this is not wet. None of them. Oh my goodness, this is so good. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe I should have put this in the middle. Oh well. Can we change it later? And now taking a flat brush, we're going to be going into the um, last color <laughs> and packing that on. Ooh. Guys, none of these colors are wet and they're really, really pigmented. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing on this eye, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I actually wet my brush this time, and I'm going to go in with this color over here and apply that to the inner parts of my corner. Oh my god. I feel like when I get excited, I whisper for some reason. Like, it's either I'll whisper or I'll scream. It sucks because I don't think you guys can hear me. Oh my gosh, please let me know if you guys can hear me or if you guys want me to talk louder because, I mean, I want you guys to hear me. Oh my goodness. This is so freaking beautiful. And you know what? I'm not going to worry much about this part down here because I end up covering it with eyeliner either way. So we can move on to the middle shade, which I'm also going to wet. And this is what, because I accidentally put the wrong shade on, but this is the um, middle shade. And I'm just lightly packing that on. Oh my goodness. I want more. Oh, you can definitely see them. Why is my lighting changing? Oh, the sun is coming out. Sun comes. And I've already positioned this studio. <laughs> in a whole other way Pack it on a little bit more. and before I leave I'm just gonna highlight my brow bone before we move on to the lips okay so I'm back and I can't decide if I want my shirt to be like this or like this so I'm just gonna keep switching it around so for the color the first color that we're gonna put on our lips is called and it looks like this my applicator. Why is it a little dirty? And why is this a sticker? I have no idea. <laughs> Moment of confusion. Anyways, I'm gonna apply this on my lips. And this is what spell looks like on my lips. All right, uh, we go on to the next one. The next color we have over here is Coven. Yeah, let's see what this looks like on my lips. This color is really beautiful. Right, time for the last one. Okay, so the last color we have over here is called Nude Potion. Let's see how this applies. Mm. And this is the last color on me. Mm. I think I would like this more if I had a lip liner. And I don't know why on camera, like from moments it appears to be patchy. I promise you it's not a really nice nude I think it goes really well like if you want to have like this extravagant look on your eyes but <laughs> there are no rules in makeup so you can put whatever you want on your lips and your eyes okay so I don't think this color goes really well with the look I have going on here but the reason I put it on was because I honestly can't believe that this color looks good on me I think Nikki did a really good job on all of her products um, these are really easy to blend blinding oh my goodness they're just awesome I love them so much I think what well, I think the um, variety here is like very universal, which I love. It's such an awesome product. It's a beautiful bundle, 
I think it's great to have and I would definitely recommend it. So good job Nikki and this is a really good product. I like it a lot. Alright, so that's it for today. Remember, don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave and hit the little bell button down below so you can get a notification every time I post. Alright, thank you very much everyone. Have a nice day. Bye.